Hi guys, some time ago I went to Canada to talk to the billionaire Frank Hasenfratz. Of course, I wanted uh, to extract the secrets of his success, his thinking methods, his approach to business, to life, his perspective and so on. And after the interview, I recorded a video when I explained what Frank taught me about adversity. And today I want to share this video with you. See you in the next part. Hi and welcome from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Behind me, the headquarters of Linamar, an auto parts manufacturer with a six billion dollars of revenue. This company is considered one of the most innovative, most tech savvy and of course most profitable companies in the car industry. Yesterday I was interviewing the owner, Mr. Frank Hasenfratz. He is a self-made billionaire, a very nice guy. He also owns uh, Skyjack. Skyjack is a world leader in sizzle platforms. I want to tell you now what I learned about adversity from uh, Frank Hasenfratz. His life is full of ups and downs. He was expelled or he had to flee from uh, Hungary where he was born and landed in uh, Canada with virtually no money. And nevertheless, he managed to build a very successful company with 25 employees with uh, over 50 factories in several countries on three continents and uh, became so successful. What he taught me was never take the adversity, never take the, um, the setbacks, your failures as a bad fortune because you never know what is gonna um, happen later, what is uh, gonna come out of that. And he gave me several examples. Uh, at first, possessions of his family, uh, the house, the um, they farm, uh, uh, the animals, they were farmers, was confiscated because they had German origins and after the war all the, uh, everything German was um, prosecuted in, uh, in Hungary. So his uh, family was prosecuted and uh, uh, all the goods were confiscated and they were um, displaced. They had to start with zero, uh, his parents with five children. And uh, so it looked like really bad fate. Um, but uh, then his father came to a re realization everybody uh, needs uh, to learn a trade. Because when you learn a trade, they can't take it away from you. This is something you have in you. And then you, you will always be able to sustain your life. That's why he got an education as a toolmaker which later led uh, to his uh, know-how in the industry, which led to his knowledge and uh, to the ability uh, to operate a factory, to build up a factory, to operate a factory, and then to build such a business. Then, later, he participated in Hungarian um, revolution. And he had to flee the country because otherwise they would probably uh, execute him or imprison him. Because the revolution fell apart and uh, Russians won. And he had to flee the country. It was bad fate. He had to drop all, uh, all his friends, uh, the, the family, uh, to abandon his future in the country. But this allowed him to come to Canada and uh, which on the other hand uh, allowed him you know to build a huge company a very successful company in a free economy which he wouldn't have a chance in, in hungary so again uh, a blow of fate made it possible for him so you never know uh, what happens next and the next example is uh, when he got fired it looked like uh, bad fate he couldn't uh, i mean uh, he had his uh, expenses, he had a, a 
good job at, at the factory uh, in the profession he he loved and liked and was very uh, proficient in uh, but somehow he got fired because of his uh, disobedience you can say right uh, so you would say what a bad fate uh, nobody wants uh, to be uh, without a job but this gave him an opportunity to actually start a business on his own to actually subcontract uh, the uh, some of the parts they were manufacturing in the factory he was working for and to manufacture them much cheaper because he just had uh, a better know-how and uh, better organization than the factory he was working for uh, which he didn't like so you see again um, a bad fate uh, led to uh, to founding of his business so if you put all these um, things together these these are just three examples but uh, in his life it was always like that uh, several times uh, over and over also in his later business career then you see you shouldn't see your bad faith as something uh, uh, which can stop you you can always see the upside and use the upside uh, of what happens around you so it's not about what happens to you it's about what you do about that so that's what I have learned from one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Canada and in the world a self-made billionaire Frank Hasenfras in my book the billion dollar secret I describe everything I have learned from Frank Hasenfratz and from over 20 other self-made billionaires that I have interviewed. Everything about the thinking, about the success methods, about their perspective, about the best tools in business. So uh, if you are interested in that book, you can get a free chapter at thebilliondollarsecret.com. Here you see the address and uh, below the video I will put the link in the description. I invite you to leave comment below this film about the topic we were talking about what is your perspective what is your experience what are your thoughts about it share this video with your loved ones with your friends one day they will thank you for that i talk here a lot about how the best entrepreneurs in the world think how the self-made billionaires of our times act so if you like this video you will certainly like my other videos i invite you to watch them I wish you a fantastic day today. Let's do something extraordinary today.